Now we are about to do a stress ECG. Most of the patient comes with chest pain. They want to know whether the pain is due to the blockage of the artery of the heart. This is a very common test that I do every day here. We do roughly 5 to 12 stress ECG every day. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how I do the stress ECG. First, I normally greet the patient. Mr. Ko, how are you today? Okay. Good. I'm going to do this treadmill for you, all right? For male patients, I normally ask them and given them the option whether to take off the shirt or leave the shirt on. So in this case, I'm going to ask Mr. Ko. Mr. Ko, you want to put the shirt on or the shirt on? Okay. Um, so in this case, I will ask the patient to take off his T-shirt. Mr. Ko, how about this T-shirt? Ah, uh, uh, Okay. Then put it in the back. Look, there is a place where you can put it in the back. Okay. I normally okay. like to do this myself to ensure the quality of the results. So what I first to do is the electro. I will put it on the chest of the patient. Mr. Ko, your body is very active. Is it easy to do this exercise? Yes, it is. 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 如果他能做运动，加上没有抽烟、糖尿病、高血压的话，我看血管阻塞的机会应该是非常的低。希望如此。希望今天查了之后，能够给你一个确定的证据说，说这个心痛不是啊，这个胸痛不是心脏的问题。OK。The electrodes are placed on the different parts of the body. And this helps to detect the electrical activity from the heart and can sense it from a different direction. The next thing I have to do is to put this ECG monitor and strap it around the patient's waist. Mr. Ko, your waist is about how many inches? Three and three inches. Wow, I'm about thirty-eight. You're thirty-three. I'm really proud of you. You have such a beautiful body. The next thing I will do is okay is to put all these electrodes and attach it to them to different part of this ECG. After I have attached all the ECG leads, I like to put a sticky tape on the ECG because during the treadmill, as the patient runs faster and faster, there will be movement of the skin and hence the vibration of the wire. If I don't get all this wire well secure, the ECG will have a lot of interference and artifact. This makes the reading and analysis of the stress ECG impossible and often leading to the wrong conclusion. Before we put the patient on the treadmill, we will do a baseline ECG. Why is it important to have a baseline ECG? Is to see whether there is any pre-existing abnormalities on ECG. If the ECG says that there is already a heart attack, signs of heart attack, it is probably pointless to do on the treadmill. It is also very dangerous to stress a patient if patient just had a heart attack. In this case, you can see the ECG, the heart rate is beating at the rate of 71 beats per minute. Next, I will demonstrate to the patient how treadmill is going to go about. I will activate the machine and I will tell to Mr. Ko, then下就是这样,手扶在这里,开步这样慢慢慢慢走,等你能够抓到这个节奏之后,这个机器会提高一点,速度会快一点,好不好? Mr. Ko, uh -huh. um, every stage comprises three minutes. All right. Within the three minutes, the speed is kept constant and the inclination is kept constant. Uh, when you first started, your heartbeat was 71 beats per minute. As you walk out the slope, your heart sends that you need to put effort in. Now your heart rate is 96 beats per minute. You are reaching two minutes of stage one, so you will have another one minute. Because of your age, we set a target of 173 beats per minute. That is the maximum target required. Um, during this treadmill, if your legs are tired, 
legs have pain or cramp. Mm -hmm. If you're getting breathless, if you have chest pain, if you're feeling giddy, let me know right away. Okay. In, uh, please do not stop automatically because to, for this machine to stop, I need to press the button. Mr. Cole, you just going into stage two, okay. and stage two comprises another three minutes, where the speed has picked up a little bit, and the inclination has become very, very steep. In, at this stage, you need to put more effort in. You don't need to run; just open your steps, and you walk faster. Right. As you walk faster, your heart will get faster. What is happening inside your heart right now? This is the picture of your heart. The arteries are actually very small vessels which is only 2 to 2.5 millimeter. You can imagine when the heart is beating very fast, the blood has to go through the artery very fast. If there is any narrowing like bottleneck, as the heart gets faster, the blood will find it more difficult to get into the heart muscle. When this happens, you may feel tightness around your chest, what we call pain. You may get very breathless and often when we look at the ECG, this line will start to sink. We call ST segment depression. Mm. So cool, you feeling all right? Okay. Any problem like getting breathless? No. no. How are your legs? It's okay. Excellent, excellent. In this case, Mr. Ko is feeling perfectly okay. He can cope with this level of stress and hence I want him to continue with the treadmill. Mr. Ko, uh, another 15 seconds, you will finish stage 2. The machine will rise and the speed will become faster. Okay. Do you want to go into stage 3? Yes. Okay, that's very good. So be prepared. Uh, one, two, now it's rising. Okay. So you've gone into stage three, another three minutes, uh, where the speed is indeed very fast, where the degree of the slope is very steep. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm looking at the ECG of stage two at the heart rate of 115 meters per minute. So far there is no signs of blockage. So far under this type of stress, there is no evidence that the electrical system of the heart suddenly become haywire or what we call short circuit. If I look at your heart rate, at level 3 it is indeed very fast, but your heart rate is only running at 122 beats per minute. It tells me that you have great stamina. When you have great stamina with this amount of stress, you don't feel that it's tiring. It is something that you can cope. So to do a treadmill can also reflect the patient's stamina. Actually, 所以我相信你应该至少能够做到第四也有可能第五个阶段 So in this case, I can tell a patient I can estimate roughly because of his great stamina he can probably do up to stage 4 if not up to stage 5 Mr. Ko, another 10 seconds you're going to go into stage 4 It is going to be very steep and very fast okay. You can either choose to walk very fast or run okay. See how you go so far, the ECG is normal, so it is safe for you to continue. Okay, so this is stage four. I, I think this is good start, okay? I think just slow jogging like this, yeah. all right? If you're feeling chest pain or your legs are tired, don't stop suddenly. Okay, let me know so right. I, can, I can press the button and I can slow it down. But great news, as I look at the ECG, the ECG does not show any signs of blockage. So from my point of view, it is safe for you to continue. Why do I ask you to continue? As you spend longer time, more strenuous and the heart rate gets faster, the tests become more accurate. You can rely on the test results saying that, indeed, I don't have blockage. Okay, all right. Mr. Ko, you are doing at uh, one and a half minutes of stage four. So far, your heart rate is 162 beats per minute. With our target of 173, you're doing at 93 percent. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want to continue? Okay. From my point of view, if you can, it's best to achieve 100 percent, right. so that we can be very confident that your heart does not have any problem. Okay. So you're doing at 164, uh, 94 percent. 
for this stage you still have another one minute okay you look very comfortable you look like this is very easy for you so i hope that you can continue okay. so now it's 95 percent 97 percent i think very soon maybe in 20 seconds we are going to reach 100 percent then i will give you a warning before i slow the machine down Okay, Mr. Ko, you have another 20 seconds before stage 4 ends. You are doing 97%. Okay. Do you want to go to stage 5 in order to reach 100%? Okay? Alright? Okay. okay, let's let's give it a try. You're doing 98%. So in another 10 seconds, the machine is going to rise higher and the speed is going to pick up. Pick up. All you need to do is just to run faster, okay? Any chest discomfort? No. No, okay. Super. This is a super performance. Really good. Your heart is running at the rate of 171 and the target is 173. The moment uh, it's reached 100% now, okay? So yeah. what I'm going to do, I'm going to slow the machine down, okay? I'm not stopping yet, okay. so just walk for a while. As you slow down, the body is not moving very fast, but the heart is still moving very fast. So at the moment, you can feel that your heart is beating against your chest. You may feel out of breath, you may feel a bit giddy, your legs may feel a bit tired, but it is okay. So now I'm going to stop the machine and I'm going to look at your graph. Congratulations, there is no signs that you got blockage. Treadmill ECG will tell you four things. One, you don't have blockage. Number two, under stress, your electrical conduction system of the heart does not suddenly go haywire. And the fact that you will reach out to stage 5, it means that your heart muscle is very strong. And lastly, you did it in a very comfortable way. It means that you have great stamina. Okay. So Mr. Ho, I wish you all the best. This is indeed a great test, a superb performance. All the best. Thank you. What I normally do after the test is to sit down with the patient and go through the test result with them. Mr. Ko, 还没有做之前, 你的心跳差不多七十一下, 跳的时候非常规律, 也没有任何的问题, 当你到第一个阶段之后, 它就跳到97次一分钟, 第二个阶段比较刺激, 就跳到115, 因为那个时候你没有胸部痛什么问题, 都没有加上心电图没有问题, 就到第三个阶段, 心跳就131, 因为你的表现非常好, 心电图说没有问题, 所以我敢敢的再叫你做到第四个阶段, 其实能够做到第四个阶段, 就反映出心脏是非常的好, 但是为了使这个报告更详细, 更让我们相信说这份报告是值得我们相信没有任何可以怀疑的, 加上你的体力非常的好你的这样的一个体力是许多人的榜样谢谢你谢谢谢谢赵子班